Hey guys, welcome to another video about the Age of Charlemagne DLC for Total War Attila. This DLC has only been out for 4 days, but there are already some modders who managed to release amazing modifications for it. In this video I'll be showcasing 10 of them, which I personally like a lot, and therefore I recommend you all to give these a try as well. All links are as always in the description, let's get straight into it. So the first mod is called Season Effects for Age of Charlemagne and made by Dresden. In the Grand Campaign, each season would give you specific bonuses or penalties for various things. Spring, for example, provided cheaper agricultural buildings and Summer would give you extra growth. For some reasons these effects weren't in Age of Charlemagne, but this mod has added them back to it, including the option to get unseasonal conditions as well. If you feel like this season bonuses are not enough for you, be sure to download Dresden's mod more meaningful seasons as well, as this will make the boosts and penalties more significant. On spot number 2 are the more, turn, uh, more turns per year mods, which are also made by Dresden. The vanilla Age of Charlemagne campaign offers 4 turns per year, however some people may want to increase this to 12 or even 24 turns uh, each year. This will result in your agents and generals living much longer, which may enhance the role playing aspects because of the increasing amount of skills and traits. On number 3 is the Slavic Factions plus Team of Sicily modification, made by Mauser. This is something that a lot of you guys will like, because this mod makes more factions playable um, in the Age of Charlemagne campaign. As of now, this mod unlocks Croatia, Bohemia, Wilts and Obodrites, Obodrites, something like that, and the team of Sicily of course. It does not add new units to them, however these factions are already have some unique Slavic and Byzantine units in the vanilla version, like Skutatoi, Takmada Cavalry, Slav Champions and Slav Royal Cavalry. I made a video recently where you can see these units in battles, uh, be sure to click the screen right now if you want to see that first. Everything for these factions is done, for example a working family tree, technology tree, faction traits, war wariness system and even victory conditions are working, uh, and the mod also adds these new factions to custom battles. The fourth mod is called More Factions for Age of Charlemagne and made by the Germans are coming. This is a similar mod that adds more minor factions to custom and multiplayer, uh, multiplayer battles, so not to the campaign. Um, so far he has unlocked the Team of Sicily, the Kingdom of the Picts, the Kingdom of Gwynedd, the Kingdom of Leinster, Bohemia and the Duchy, Duchy, Duchy of Bavaria. However you can request other factions on the mod page and he might be able to unlock the other factions for you as well, if you want to. These factions have access to their own unique cultural units, for example the Kingdom of Leinster has access to Irish units like the Vienna. On the 5th spot are the various Age of Charlemagne reskin mods that Guff has made. In these mods he reskins the entire rosters to make the units feel more medieval like. On the screen right now you can see a few examples of reskinned units. It's not the biggest reskin but in my opinion this is definitely a good improvement. Uh, so far he has done the Kingdom of Charlemagne, the Avars, Mercia, Cordoba and the Kingdom of Asturias but more will follow soon. The mod also gives the various faction leaders a cooler look and don't worry, the owl is still there. Mod number 6 is one of my favorites on this list, I'm talking about the more immersive UI modification made by Melkor. This one reskins the UI to a more medieval look with, uh, with different colors and backgrounds. You can now see the comparison between vanilla and this mod, it's only a small reskin however it looks much more immersive in my opinion, it really makes you feel that you are playing in a medieval time period. If only the voices and music will do that as well though. On the 7th spot is Danish cavalry, uh, Danish cavalry in Age of Charlemagne made by the famous Sebidi. This mod is simple yet very effective because it adds 3 cavalry units to the Kingdom of the Danes. In the vanilla campaign the Danes lack any form of cavalry, they are only able to bring infantry and artillery to this field. This mod borrows 3 units from other factions, the Royal Cavalry from Asturias, the Horsemen from Mercia and the Scout Cavalry of Westphalia and adds them to the Danish roster. These units have also been completely reskinned to give them a real Danish look as well. Mod number 8 is another cosmetic one, the Age of Charlemagne faction emblem mod made by Gietgut Kitson adds 20 new faction emblems to the campaign. Here you can see the 8 rescreened ones for the major factions, but there are also a lot of new ones for some of the minor factions to make it all a bit more historical and immersive. There are a couple of versions which add different emblems to the Kingdom of Charlemagne, so be sure to pick the one that you like the most. All links are in the description of course. Number 9 on this list is not really an individual mod, so I will only give it a small mention, 
The Radius mod, made by obviously Radius, has been updated for the Age of Charlemagne campaign as well. This means uh, a completely rebalanced stat, a reworked recruitment system, various AI changes, whole new garrisons, all new unit cards and a lot more uh, for all the ones who like the Radius and his mods. The final mod on this list is also one of my favorite ones, however it's the only mod on the list that is not released yet. I'm talking about the Age of Charlemagne general unit portraits modification made by Benjin. This one will reskin the unit card for generals to the same style as the Age of Charlemagne unit card. So far he has only finished Charlemagne himself, but you just look at the detail on this. In my opinion a fantastic and very promising modification for the future, so be sure to keep an eye on the mod page as well. So this was my list of 10 good mods to improve gameplay in the Age of Charlemagne campaign. As said, all the links you need are in the description, be sure to give them a go and try them out yourself. Let me know which mod you liked the best in the comments down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.